Hi everyone, welcome to Plant Parts. We're down in this lovely little plant room at the moment. Oh, I mentioned in the plumbing disasters video we did on this channel last week or whenever this video goes out, um, that we're gonna be changing over this beast here and this beast here because they've both been hold at the bottom at the same time, as you can see from that lovely stain just down there. The complicating factors of this job are, if we were on ground level, I would be able to valve off, funny enough, the valve for this tank, yeah? You'd think it'd be somewhere down on that pipe, wouldn't you? Well, that pipe runs all the way around here, all the way around the back here, and valves off there for some reason. Uh, as soon as I touched this valve here, that just started leaking straight away. So I want people who aren't plumbers to understand that sometimes we come to a job, you know, where we've not done like, you know, we've done nothing wrong. We've turned a valve off and it leaks. It's like, Ugh, now I've got to change that valve, which could mean we've got to drain out the whole of this system here. So what we've done, we've valved off over there because we're going to do one tank at a time because there's nine rooms in this place. Uh, and we're doing a half half of the rooms today and then half of the rooms tomorrow or however long this takes. So the complicating factors are we're in a basement. So I can't just run a hose pipe outside. What I have to do is we've got a sump pump just down here. Um, for a while we were just using my hose, just going into the sump pump standpipe. Uh, but after a while I just realised it was really, really slow. So now I've got my wolf drill beast on here, which you guys know you can actually get on our Amazon store. Um, so now, I'll show you actually. So look, here's the flow without it kind of running. It's very slow, but actually it would come out a bit quicker, but it's trying to go over the impeller of this at the moment. And then if I actually run this, yeah. So that's how much water we're getting out. I'm just stuffing that in the standpipe over there. What I'll do in a minute, once I've finished sort of talking to the camera so there's no noise in that, I'll just pop something around the trigger of that so it just runs and runs. And then every so often, I'm having to let air into the top here using the Schrader on this and undoing that. Um, so really the main part of the job, the thing that takes the most amount of time in this job is gonna be draining out this tank and like, I just feel how much water is in there. It's gonna take ages. So it's 500 litres apparently at two and a half bar and then getting it out. So let's have a look at the route that this has got to take and also the new ones that come in. So firstly, we've got to get this door off. Oh, I bet you didn't think about that when we were pricing the job up. Of course we did. I'm actually not on a price, just on a day rate. Yay. I'll probably have to pin these, take these off. Uh, I don't think we'll have to take the whole lining out. If not, I'll have to cut the tanks down. Uh, and then we have, I think all of the rice ever made in every paddy field ever. Um, just here and here and here. And then, <laughs> then look where we've got to go. We've got to go upstairs, yeah? And we've got to get around the top of this. And then we've got to get around here. And then we've got to get it down there to the van and away. <laughs> so, I don't know what I'm going to call this video. I don't know what you guys are going to get out of it, apart from that, that sense of sort of sort of warmth that you have because you're not here doing it maybe that's it maybe that's what you'll get out of it you can comment below as to what you see what you think you've seen any improvements you think could be made because there are a couple of naughty things down there like there is with every uh, installation but still very good install here my mate did it there's a lot of valves a lot of clips the things i like uh, there's just one or two little tweaks that could be done um so yeah enjoy the video comment below subscribe and hold tight. Before we get started with this video, I'd like to ask you to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's really important and helps the channel grow. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Coming out of there, through the drill pump, and then off to the sump pump. I can actually feel the air coming at the top. So probably down to about here now. <laughs> God almighty, it's going to take hours. I've even bought bum heads here today to help me. <laughs> the cathedral of plumbing. Because we kind of cracked the seal at the top now, it's draining itself out quite nicely. And as you can hear, the sump keeps cutting in. We're really testing that sump at the moment, but to have a basement like this, 
without a sump pit is ridiculous and i'm gonna have a word with the owners here and say look if, if you have a heavy flood or something like that happens i mean <laughs> you can imagine all this rice getting wet it's gonna go up the stairs isn't it it's gonna be mad but what we're gonna do now because we're draining that down now and that's just happy being drained down what you try to do on jobs is um manage your time so you're not just you know faffing about like waiting around so what we're going to do is we're going to get one of the tanks that we're fitting today and we're going to get it down here and we're going to probably i don't know get it somewhere down this bit here so that's ready to go and also i'm going to pop off to the suppliers as well because uh, i've got a feeling i might need to grab some uh, 45s in 28 mil length of 28 mil pipe few bits to do but you need to think about managing your time so you can get the job done in the time that you feel that you've allocated because i might be on a day rate but i've got a week's worth of work to do and this job came in on saturday Day, and it's now Monday and I'm trying to get my life sorted out. Right, so these are what we're fitting, some Stuart Turner Mains Boost MB450s. Approximate weight 81 kilos and I can tell you that is very true. I've got my uh, exercise watch thing on, yeah? Don't think I'll be getting to the gym today. Um, so we've just got that first one downstairs. It's an absolute nightmare. And it's pretty warm out there today as well. But Emily's done pretty well. I don't know where she's gone. I think she's legged it. She's there just sweating. I think we're probably about half empty now. Obviously a quick way you can test is just pop the hose off and then lay it up against the side of the tank. And then slowly lower it down until water comes out of the hose. Then you'll know roughly what the water level is left in the tank. Um, that's if you care. I do for some reason, even though I know it makes it no quicker it's just nice to know how it's all going yeah so well you guys can see this is a bit of a beastie beastie job so we're going to cut these um, mains boosts out now uh they're a lot narrower actually than the old ones so they'll fit in nicely in here they, they should take up less space uh, so they'll have more room to put loads of tat which is something they seem to be good at at this pub i hope they're watching rice everywhere hey we, 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 we. stuart turner beast uh we're now back on pumping here because the water level now is below the height of the standpipe. So if you run your finger across to here, you know, we've now got a water level down to here. So we need to pump it out using this. These things are amazing, if you can hear me. But now listen to this. That's nice and empty. Here's what a full one sounds like. They're very different. Right then, so finally getting to empty-ish stage. So, as you can see, here's the pinhole, just under there. That's where... God damn it, that's so thin. <laughs> How that hasn't popped, I'll never know. Now, we should just have a nice, fairly easy joint to undo here. And with a bit of flexi on the pipe, or a flexible, so if the pipe's got a little bit of wobble in it we should be able to drop that down like that and there you go that that is it should be able to move that out now oh, blow me down look at that <laughs> what's that tabletop ironing board Sex and drugs and rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Now does she fit? Right then, so ready to get this tank in. Uh, just been off to the shops, had a little bit of pastrami. And a packet, of course, of salt and vinegar McCoys, which are bloody lovely and real wincy. Oh, comment below what your favourite crisps are. If you don't comment salt and vinegar McCoys, salt and vinegar chipsticks, or pickled onion monster munch, then you need to reevaluate your life. Anyway, so got a really simple bit to do here now. I'm just going to pop this on here. I'm actually, I probably will cut a valve in just at the top there. Um, but this does not need an upstream kit on it, uh, which is Stuart Turner's supply and upstream kit. Well, they don't actually come with the thing. You buy them extra. Uh, and I've got the upstream kit in here just so I can show it to you. Effectively, what it does, I mean, it's a hell of a bit of kit. You see what you get in it. 
So you have a filter, a non-return valve, pressure reducer or a pressure regulating valve and also a few points at which you can put on some pressure gauges so you know what the pressures are uh, and that's pretty much it but we don't need that on here because we've already got a combination valve further up the stream on this so that we shouldn't need that but still very nice indeed and that will go in the van ready for another job little blanking plug off on there that just whips out I mean, you guys have seen me fit these in the past. They're really, really simple. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop our pipe on, orientate that round so it's pointing out the right way. And then we'll actually get it sat down in position and just piped up. Nice and easy, really. And you can buy these cutters on our Amazon store. Hell yeah. Right, so we've got our pipe sticking out just down there. That's our pipe. Probably best we could do is, is cut this back because I don't really like to have to do more pipe work than is needed. But I'm going to cut this bit back here and just redo this bit again, I think. We probably won't reuse that T. You can see how dirty the water is. There's still quite a lot of rust going on in here up to that time. But there we go. Right now, just to clear off. Sort of work you should take a little time over anyway. Going onto the old pipe is always the place you're gonna have leaks and issues. So you best spend quite a lot of time on this. Make sure you get it as clean as you can. I mean, that is embedded <laughs> on there. I might even be better off cutting this a bit further back and actually just putting my valve on here. Um, and then, um, yeah, and then we know we're onto something new then. We don't actually need to put a valve here because there is one upstream, but there's one supplied, so let's put it in. The more valves, the better. You know what I'm like, I love me valves. Right, so there we go, we've got a 28mm pot coming out. I've actually got that on. There's live water this side now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to reuse this bit because there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, it might be slightly sloppy soldering from the back in the day. Um, but it doesn't matter. I've just cleaned off the ends of the pipe. We're going to reuse that bit uh, and get this bit installed in no time. So whilst I'm doing this, I want you to realise the importance of using proper accumulators rather than expansion vessels on these systems. Expansion vessels are designed to take the expansion of cold water when it is heated up. That is why these two here have pinholed. They use a bag type bladder to account for that expansion, whereas the Stuart Turner accumulators use a virgin butyl diaphragm. These are designed to move with the decrease in stored water and also then take that increase accumulate all that storage and pressure ready for use later on if you want to know more about these check out stuart-turner.co.uk forward slash mains boost to complete a site survey and get a system designed specifically for your property i'll leave links to that below and also in the top pinned comment right so that's done and then it's a bit annoying that i can't get the stuart turner badge to face this way but there we go and then we just do a slow pressurization just down here just to make sure we've got no leaks first up. And now that is pressurizing our vessel in here and that water will be ready for use when opened by any of the occupants in any of the rooms, which is been there. <laughs> Sex and drugs and rock and roll. Ollie's here now, you're going to help out your Ollie. Yeah, hey. uh, we've taken the, you can't really see it, but up there we've taken out the banister.
Good job. Got to get that one down there now, and the other one up. Cheers, mate. That's all right. I think I'll go back to the bar now. Yeah. Might have to come in and get a lime and soda in a minute. <laughs> I'll, I'll have one waiting for you. Cheers, Hi. dude. All right. Sorry. I'll get you a beer next time round, or. Cheers. Cheers, man. Thanks. What a lovely lad Ollie is. Pity he's a convicted puppy kick to death person. <laughs> no, he's a lovely lad. He's never inflicted any harm on any puppies. Apart from maybe Lauren's chest, who's the other girl who works in the pub who he really fancies. Oh, he's going to kill me for saying that. <laughs> right then, so there we go. This one is going to be done tomorrow. What a waste. <laughs> Pressurised up, working, installed. Got this one to do tomorrow. I've got a bit dusty with you. Come back tomorrow morning. Hello, gang. Another glorious day here in the ball of ass. <laughs> So, day number two, um, this time we're going to be doing the tanks for rooms one, two and three. Uh, and that's why we've had to stagger it out really, So, because they haven't got full occupancy at the moment here. We've done the um, one of the tanks that does rooms four, five and six. And that means that if there were any people in those rooms, they'd, they'd be able to use the bathroom from one of the other rooms. Which, okay, might result in a slightly snotty TripAdvisor review. But sometimes, you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. But as George Bernard Shaw said, show me the omelette. So we are down here, back in the beast. We're just about to get draining down. So I'm just gonna describe what we're doing on this job today because it's slightly different. So yesterday, and as you can see, we've got no leaks here. All good, this is working fine now. Um, I'm very, very pleased with how this job has gone. It's, it's absolutely lovely. But on this side, we've got slightly more complicated uh, and a bit, it's not quite quite been installed correctly, so we, we have to do a little bit of, this This will probably take one day to do the changeover, then I'll leave it slightly uncompliant for a day, but I'm hoping that no one's going to turn off a valve, or I'll leave the handle off a valve. So look, this is what we've got here, uh, and I'll just do a very quick trace out so you understand why I've got to do this job in a certain way. This is the tank we've got to change, the pipe that feeds to this tank is this pipe down here, you can't really see it very well, but it's down there. Um, and that shares a feed pipe into the bottom of this tank here. Now normally what you'd do is you'd have a valve here, so you could valve this off, right, and if there was any trouble with that, you'd just valve that off and you'd be able to work on that without having to do anything to the rest of the system, and you can almost leave the rest of the system running. But because it's joined up here with no valve on it, we've got to drain this down, right, and all the rest of the system out. But some of you are going to say, well, hold on, if we valve that off, there'd be no expansion. The thing is, we shouldn't be using this to account for the expansion of the hot water being heated up and cooled down. This is just for accumulation of pressure, so we have a delivery of water. The reason this, this is slightly wrong is the fact that this combination valve here that feeds all of this should have an expansion vessel on it, just like that up there. And that means then that we could put a valve on there, and then we could put this on here, and that is what we're going to do on this job. So first up, it's going to be the very, 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 very boring bit, which doesn't make for great plumber parts viewing um, of me just draining this system out. Again, I'm going to use my Bosch drill with my Wolf pump. Makes this job so much quicker. Um, if, funny enough, right, you, you, you have to use the Wolf pump to get this started so we can crack into the air bit on here. But then once this is actually running, we can drain most of that out with gravity. Uh, and in fact, I think we'll probably be able to drain almost all of this out with gravity. We might have to pump a little bit out at the end. But other than that, this, this job is going to take a little bit longer because we've got to drain this out and this out, cut the valve in there, and then also get an expansion vessel popped on there so it's fully compliant and everything should be working okay. We've got our Stuart Turner Beast coming in here. I'm going to give you a little bit of an eye. I'm going to give you a rundown of what you need to know about these tanks as well. Um, while we're doing this okay because there's some technical stuff i think that people need to know about this sort of thing um i just love these tanks even chris the guy who owns the pub came down he was like mate they look class they're not i mean that they're, they're he didn't know what he was looking at but he liked the look of it <laughs> there you go <laughs> bloody hell we started draining down at about half eight and we have just well about just actually put about nine o'clock Two hours later, finally drained out. So what we've got to do first is slacken off this nut at the bottom. Pop 
pop something under here because actually the pipe works slightly goes down. So we might find there's a bit of water here, but we shall see. This one was here. This one here was actually really starting to starting to get a little bit of a head of steam going on. What we're going to do? We're going to pop a valve on here, then a drain off. Then we're going to get our pipework in, and then get it all done up again. We'll just get this bottom piece popped on here as well first up. So let me lay the old girl down, and we'll get it done. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is cut this back further, which means we're in a danger area for soldering, so we have to clean that pipe down really well. I really don't like soldering that close to old fittings like that. Oh, oh, it's a hard one. The thing is, what I want is for that to go there, and then we've got that nice little drain cock that people can easily get at. You know, it's facing the right way, um, all that sort of stuff, and then we can just... Basically, then what we need to do is just elbow, 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 valve, and then that's it. Let's risk it. Let's do it. Let's see how we get on. As you can see, I ain't messing around with this beast. We're gonna get loads of soldering on these fittings. I do not want them to leak uh, once I've got this system filled up because it can be an absolute bummer. Now look here, you'll see a big blob go on the floor. Here we go, here we go. There it is, <laughs> big blob of solder on the floor there, but we're getting this job done now, we're getting on with it, looking absolutely brilliant, the old fluctuator, actually I wish fluctuator did make one of them out of 28 mil, that'd be great, but you can buy the 22 and 15 one on the shop. Right, so those solders, well, they're done, uh, what we're doing, we're filling up the system now, I've got to go up to the rooms and vent the taps through, but we're kind of tentatively filling it, because a lot of those 28 mil ones there just felt gnarly when they were doing up. I had to put quite a bit of solder in, they don't look amazing. Uh, as you can see, I've still got this valve off here. I haven't put the drain off in here yet, I just dropped a bit of water through just now. But we're taking our time just filling the system up. We've got the valve back on now, so we're running cold water down this pipe here, into our hot water tank, and then, as you can see, it would go into here, but we've got this valve off at the moment. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get everything so the hot water's up to here, we're going to go to the rooms and vent the rooms out quickly. Well, then we'll have some pressure in the system. I can then properly pressurise and test those joints down there. If they hold, then great. If they don't, then we've got to drain all of this out again and redo the solders. It's not fun. It's worrying time of the job. It means it's the difference between me going to the gym or working late tonight. All right? Right. <laughs> we've got no leaks on the live side of the new 28 mil valve that I've put in. This valve down here. Um, yeah, water's fully back on. Everything's on up top. Everything's on up there. Now what we've got to do is open up this mains boost and just check that we've got no leaks on this side. Well, that's pretty dark down here guys, but hopefully you can still see. So let's just... Oh, we're off. Well, let's just check for leaks along here, usual way. On your hands along here, but also be wary that this is cold water. We're in quite a warm environment, so you can get condensation. So always have that in your mind when you're testing for your leaks. So the final bit of the job for me to do that was uh, just a bit of a naughtiness one that wasn't done by the previous plumbers, just put in an expansion vessel. This one is actually designed to take expansion of the water as it gets heated up. Uh, and we're going to pop that on the, uh, I suppose, system side of the combination valve. Uh, that's just going to pop up on the wall. Now, it's slightly smaller than what I'd like, but I couldn't get a 24 litre expansion vessel. But that being said, it's still going to do a really, really good job and make this full job compliant. So now, when someone shuts off the valve to the mains boost, we still have some sort of area of expansion to go into that is compliant. Then it's just a matter of getting that old tank out. And look at that. 
getting it up the stairs, heaving it all about. Tried it with Emily just once. I th actually, I think Emily helped me all the way on this one. Here we go, look. And a big bit of leg day here. Get underneath, shoulders and legs. Here we go, big old heave. Look at that, up and out. Oh yeah. And then we went outside, Ollie gave me a hand, getting it into the back of the beast, getting it onto the trailer. I'm gonna turn this into, well, I'm gonna turn these into four barbecues. And I'm gonna do that on the other channel. Times with James, links to that below, guys. Perfect. Didn't get my lime and soda yesterday, did I? Pint of Cronenberg. Right, come with me. Put the door back on. Yeah. Kill a dog that way. I better not film that way. So as you can see, we had to take the banister out, the banister, whole banister rail out. But, I'm, I mean, this is a first for builders, but someone actually thought about that and said, right, we're gonna make it so you can remove it, just in case you need to get anything big out, like two busted expansion vessels. Let's go down and have a little look at that. Quick pull up. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Right, look at that, how much cleaner this is in here. How much more room we've got as well. These are a lot, um, a lot now, I mean, there's 50 liters less. But what we've done then is, firstly, I left it overnight. We've got no leaks. I mean, I'm amazed that we didn't have one on the 28 down there. Just a little thing for you, when you're soldering onto old pipe, that is the bit, even if you clean it as much as you can and maybe flux it, then burn it off then clean it again, there's always a chance that is the, gonna be the point where you get a leak. Um, and 28 mil, you generally have to be a bit better at your soldering as well. You need to know that you're not gonna get full heat all the way around. And also I had a small tip on my um, my torch, which I couldn't be asked to change because I'm a lazy git. So anyway, so now we've got this one in here. We've got a valve down there, a drain off. So this could be valved off and drained off. But on this system beforehand, there wasn't a non-valve offable expansion vessel, a potable water one. We've now got one on here. I couldn't get a 24 litre one in time. I would usually put a 24 litre on there. We've got an 18 litre one on there. And so we've got our water comes down, any expansion goes into that. And then we effectively mimic the feed of a 28 millimeter cold water system. Because what's happening is when someone opens up the tap, water comes down here in 22 mil, but it also gets pushed out of here in 28 mil. And then when someone shuts that tap again, you know, it's not the end of the process. What happens then is this slowly builds up that volume and that pressure again, ready to be released. You'll always see these in large like occupancy places. We've got nine rooms here, that's nine showers. And guess what, everyone opens up, well, most people have showers at, you know, in the morning or in the evening, and at those times they need that delivery. So that's why we've got one here and one here. That is it, guys, that is pretty much the job. Really pleased with how it's gone. Yeah, I, 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 now we've got things that, Earlier on, you guys saw that I had to drain down this tank here and that tank there on the old one because there wasn't a valve and a drain off for us to just change that tank. But now that's what we've got. We've got more control of this system. As I said, valves are really, really important. Um, yeah, and just make life a lot easier. Uh, I think that's about it, guys. So if you like what I've done, then give us a thumbs up. Uh, comment below if you think I've missed anything out or there's anything more you'd like to know comment on there there's a big community of plumber parts fans who will help you out in the comments because I get so many it's so difficult for me to keep up with them um, also hit the notification bell and if there's anything else you'd like to see or if you're interested in what Stuart Turner make because they don't just make these they make brilliant shower pumps and booster sets and all that sort of stuff I've left their link below as well so check that out and I'll see you in the next plumber parts video Thank you ever so much for watching. I'm now gonna put the door on and the banister on. And remember to hold tight. See you soon, bye bye. If you don't subscribe to Plumber Parts right now, I'm gonna be very upset. Also, you can watch our latest video here and you can also click to watch our latest plumbing disasters video. And it might also be a good idea to check out my vlog channel where I could well be bashing up these tanks and turning them into barbecues. Oh.